Welcome to the era of AI. Hello there and welcome into one of the most important lectures of the course. Here, we're going to learn about the Midjourney blend feature. So if you like to blend things to create an image, which is a blend of many things, this is just the lecture for you. The prompt is very simple and it can do extremely great results. Now, the challenge is what type of image is this? Let me give you three seconds to actually go and think about this. All right. So one, two, three. The question was, what are the three insects that I use to create this insect? Because this is not a real image. This is an image that I've created using Midjourney. And it's a combination of three insects. First one is a butterfly, then the coccinelle, and then the spider, the infamous spider. So all of whom went into create this image. And so what else have we got? We've got more images coming. But first, I need to go ahead and show you how you can go and use this particular feature, the blend prompt. Let's get right into it. So I've got these, these three images. I've got this one of a butterfly. I've got this one. And I've also got this one of a spider. And we're going to convert all of these to one image. And the way you do that is by going to Midjourney, then hitting slash. And then you have the blend option. Click on the blend option. Upload the first image by clicking on the upload option here and then upload image by image. Once you upload the first one, click right here to upload the second one. And then in order for you to add one more, hover over here and click on this and then select image number three and then go on and add another image. And finally, click right here again and then select dimensions. And you can select any dimension you want from these ones. Portrait, square, landscape. I would go for landscape and that's it. And now hit enter, just hit enter. And what it's going to do, it's going to take all of these images. The first one, which is the image of the butterfly. It's going to also take the second one, which is the, this image of the coccinelle. And it's going to take this image of the spider, which looks spooky, by the way. I don't really like how many eyes a spider has. It's not comfortable to look at, but it really came as a pretty good image, a decent image. When we combined it with all the other insects, it gave us one insect. And you can sell these as stock photos on platforms like Pixabay, Unsplash, Pexels, and so on and so forth. So you can already see how you can monetize this because the person that has created this butterfly, no one knows for sure if this is a real image. And we don't have to know. All you need to know is that if you create images with this quality, using Midjourney, you can sell them on Pixabay, Canva, Unsplash, Pexels, Shutterstock, and so on and so forth. There's many platforms, Vecteezy, and so on, where you can monetize your AI art. Now, I'm going to click here and notice it really created a mix, a great mix between all of the insects, capturing all of them at once, and also keeping the essence. Now, I like the image number four, so I'm going to go ahead and upscale it so that we can look at it full screen. And there you go. We can now click on the image and it looks pretty cool. It looks more like a spider and so on and so forth. All of the, uh, they, they try to add here the strings of the spider and you can see that they're looking uh, quite fabulous there, but this is amazing and you can definitely monetize this kind of art because it just looks realistic. And so I hope that you can now go ahead and use this blend feature. So if you want to blend a lion with a tiger, you can do it. If you want to blend a lion with a, a dragon, you can quite honestly do it. So this is it for this lecture. I will see you in the next one.